This is the end, my only friend, the end. The Wild Wild West. Oh, I just snorted some Zen. Yes. Oh, man. Welcome, Zen to, the, is so welcome good. to the show. Can you do Zen as snuff or will it burn? I have no idea. Can you ensnuffleate Zen? I'll give it a shot. I'll do some lines of Zen this weekend. I might, I might just do bumps. <laughs> I might just start doing lines of Zen. I might start doing key bumps. Just reach yeah. in and be like, excuse me. Yeah, it's a way to like like nicotine gum for yeah, dude. Coke. Yeah. Just snorting Zin. Dude, if you're in a business meeting, you started snorting tobacco. You would oh, yeah. Rush. You'd be like, excuse me. Oh, yeah. If your assistant came in with like, do you ever see those like those horns? They pack them up with tobacco and go <laughs> and blow it up your nose. Yes. Yeah, dude. If they did, was that? Oh, that for I wasn't sure what that was. Um, look, dude, let's just get right into it. You want to get in the heart of look, the matter? Look, man, I've gone through PR disasters before. <laughs> None like this. None like this. Absolute PR disaster. This is a nightmare, dude. <laughs> oh my god. We had we've had like a seventy two hour war. And the going. news the news broke at the worst possible time. I know. I know. <laughs> All right. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, yes. I promised Billy that I would go paintballing at Matt's bachelor party. Yes. And I made it very clear that I did not trust anybody there with a paintball gun mm. and myself. Now, will I say that factored into my decision? Yes. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> I had no idea what paintballing was. When I got there, yeah. I realized that would have never been the case. However, <laughs> dude, this is tough. Take, dude. Your I let, Take your time, dude. Take your time. I just let so many people down, dude. <laughs> I had no idea how important it was to everybody. I had no idea how important it was to me. Yeah, I called Matt. I got on Reddit the next morning and called Matt, and I was like, dude, I'm so sorry. Like, I had, uh, did I, like, let you down? And he was like, no, what are you talking about? <laughs> then I called Spot. I was like, dude, am I fucking gay? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, guys, your Reddit comments do affect me. They hurt my fucking feelings. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I was driving home. Well, first of all, the... The whole weekend has to be recounted to give it proper to give it proper context. I, th I do believe this was somewhat of a framing device. I do have a decent alibi. Yeah, my Friday was a very strong alibi. Well, first of all, let's start with the penis you saw. You didn't ask to see a humongous <laughs> penis, <laughs> dude. I had you should have done this. Dude, with, you should put a tinfoil blanket around yourself. I had dude. nothing but trauma this weekend. You did first so, night, first starting from the first very night beginning. We get there, uh, a lot of yeah. So I go, me, Spud, yep. Six, mm -hmm. I think Tom. I did Tom and I think Tom Kev? stayed. Or Kev. Kev can't, yeah, Kev. Kev, Kev sure went. We went to the bar. I think Butterly, maybe. Butterly, I don't know. Rainy, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Go to the bar. We're hanging out. We're, we're hitting the Irish car bombs. We're having fun. Dude. It was only, you only had 35 minutes before it yeah. closed. Yeah, we had to get in and. Get, I was a little slow on the grill. I was we we're making yeah. burgers. I was taking my good old <laughs> taking my good old. So I walk in, Spud's Spud's peeing in the stall. I walk into the bathroom. I walk in after Spud is already his stream is already in motion. Well he was gonna go to the urinal, but he, he chose was gonna the go stall to the urinal. For good and reason. The reason was, which I immediately discovered upon entry, <laughs> was there was a guy at the stall. There was two urinals. This guy's dong. I don't know how to. Can you hold? I mean, bigger than this. Seriously, soft. No tongue. joke. Soft tongue. You serious? Bigger than that water bottle Jeez, with a, dude. a tip that was a zin. And how how many ounces? What? It was a zin what? zin sized. <laughs> what? How many zin. ounces is that water bottle for the people at home? This is a sixteen point nine fluid ounce it's bottle. It's sixteen ounces of dong. Yeah. With a zin top. With a zin tip, dude. What? I walked soft. in. Soft. I walked in, caught it. I was walking in straight, caught it over here. I could it see it. Your I could see it from there. Caught a glimpse. That's evolution, by the way. That's not your fault. Nothing I could do. Caught a glimpse. It jarred me. It was. I was. I responded like a black guy seeing a magic trick. <laughs> I immediately ran into the stall with Spud <laughs> while he was peeing and hugged him. Yeah. And just went. Oh my fucking god! Dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He was shaking already, dude. This penis already had the Spud man like. Oh, dude, I know. I know. The spud I know. was shook. Yeah, and then I went to the urinal. And started it takes a lot to, to shake the Spud man too, bro. 
I went and started trying to piss next to this behemoth. So you, I, dude, you faced I, it. I teenaged it. You, te- you ever see those drawings? You're David and Goliath. You ever see those drawings of like a dragon and like a knight? <laughs> like a tiny, <laughs> that was my teenage, dude, against this thing. <laughs> so you faced uh, it. I did. The guy finished. And then Damn. Spud was did still in shake? there. I'm just curious. Guys, dicks that big? Do they even shake, or what do they do? I, it was it was a blur at that point. Yeah, exactly. It was a sense. blur, dude. I was <laughs> just smacks <laughs> the side of the urinal with it, like <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> boom, dude. So he leaves, and he's Spud, washing his dick in the sink. <laughs> Spud didn't know another guy walked in. Yeah, because he was still in the stall. Yeah. So this other guy walks in, and I'm in there, and I was like, dude. Dude, like, Spud was like, yo, you see that guy's dick? Dude? There's another guy. Just, and then I left, and apparently Spud kept talking to that dude. Oh, it was me. oh, my God. So we get back to the table, and Spud runs out. He starts, he immediately, he Paul Revere's this dick. Dude. Yeah. He ran out and told, <laughs> told everybody. And He's uh, also good for talking very loudly about a thing. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah. And we had just drank a couple shots. Like we were feeling yeah, it. Yeah, we all sense. sit down. Me and Spud loudly talking about how yeah. we just saw the biggest dick of all time. Little did we know the guy was just sitting like from us to the camera. He dude, was that close. We were. We were. He turned around and looked at us. He was did, furious. Was he mad? Yeah, he was fuming. Dude, I was working with Spud one time. We were in a house and we we're just you know we're just stripping. This is a long time ago. We're we're stri- we're using like a not even an acid a base to mm-hmm. strip old paint. And it's like really shit. Like if it gets into your foot, we'll just start like melting your skin. We're just melting. We're doing all the stuff, scraping it down, is like into like a weird sludge, and we're in someone's house, and he's just like going on. I forget exactly what he was talking about, but it was like off the wall. Like you know, it was just some like crazy porn stuff of like he's just like, and then da 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 da, and he's going on <laughs> porn stuff, full fucking full speed, dude. Yeah. About like it might. It, I mean, again, I, I I'm not slurring him, but it like it would be like if I was in your parents' house talking about like. M to F, no F to M, like yes. trans, and just being like, wow, as loud as I possibly could, like, yeah. dude. And I stop, and I'm like, dude, I think they can hear you. And he's like, so what? Look what we're working yeah, with. We're not allowed to talk about this? who the fuck do you think works with this stuff? They know the deal. And I'm like, All right, I guess. Yeah, true. <laughs> he's like, we're using a corrosive base on old paint, dude. Who do they think does? Dude, this? he is the funniest dude. Easily ever. Easily. I- me and him rarely get to chill. Oh, dude. Like, I'll talk to him on the phone. You I, you don't get to see his face on the phone. True. When you see his face, and you see, he's he's got a stare that he's not looking at you. <laughs> like, the second day, I was like, are we good? <laughs> like, are you mad at me? He's like, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> dude, I worked with him every day for like, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm bad with time frames. I think it was like two years. Funnest thing in the world. Yeah. So he's, fun to get picked up by the Spud Man daily and just go out and just crush painting jobs. Dude, it's so fucking fun. He's He's the funniest. So we get we go to the bar. We talk dong for a while. So the dude was the dude's been discovered. You guys blew his he cover. Has. He was upset. He was pissed. Yeah, because I he five? he heard me saying I, it was it's a it's bad. Oh, you said it was deformed. I think it was a problem. I think it was a medical <laughs> issue. <laughs> there's yeah, there's no explanation other than that. So he heard you saying his huge dick was deformed at <laughs> yeah, yeah. while he was trying to enjoy he was himself at himself. shenanigans pub. At shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> he was just at shenanigans, getting his last drink of the night in. Uh, about to take him and his big dick home. Then we all uh-huh. went back to the place. The non-drinkers were chilling. They mm-hmm. were like, all right, it's bedtime. We got a big day tomorrow. Yeah. And then me and the boys decided to go to a gentleman's club. Yep. To the Pleasure Dome. Open till 4. Open till 4 a.m. Pleasure Dome. Yeah, someone hit me with the opportunity to go. It was BYOB. Like 145. Easy. I was like. I, I oh, suggested against you going. I had a hard day at battle. Once they like once they find out you're a bachelor at a strip club. Yeah. In fact, they did do it to one guy, and they used Beezer's belt to like whip a guy on stage. Did they really? Yeah. Yeah, I would have came. It would have been embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been cheating at that point. Oh my god, I would have. I would. That there's nothing I would fear more than getting Just brought getting onto beat. a stripper stage to get like whipped in front of your friends. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. I mean. It, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, I, that bothers me. It's always bothered. Does me. it? Yeah, I would have never ever. I've anytime seen I've down. seen other people do it, I've been like, Dude, I feel bad. So I was at I forget whose bachelor party this was, but we slipped them like a couple extra bucks to be like beat the fuck out of them. I don't know if you ever gave like a known <laughs> yeah, intravenous dude, drug user an extra fifty. Ever. Yeah, I mean these girls, a lot of them like to spend money on drugs. You hit them with an extra fifty, and you're like, yo, there's another fifty after that if you fucking beat the shit out of them. Dude, it was like fucked up what they did. What they do? They just beat the fuck out of the dude. Like, dude, hit him in the nuts and shit. It, it was, was fucked r- up. Nah, it was fucked up. It's uh, so we get there. This was my favorite part. So it was me, Butterly, Rainy, Beezer, Spud. Yeah, I think. Oh, and I think Kev. 
Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I think you're wrong on that. You, you know, Maybe you know, I'm wrong. Wanna name there was somebody, yeah, I don't know why I'm naming names. everybody. I went to the <laughs> Pleasure Dome. <laughs> so we were in the Pleasure it Dome. It was just you. It was, it was just myself. And, uh, dude, I got I balled out. I was very excited. I got $200 in ones. Yeah. They give you those two stacks. Fuck so that. I was just instantly like, woo, like throwing around. You had money going? Then the strippers, I mean, they swarmed. They saw yeah, it. Man. Swarmed. Yeah, dude. They're sitting there. On Me and Spud are sitting next to each other. There's a stripper's butthole. Right here. Nice. I fucking pied the spud, dude. You pied him? I, back of the head into the bottle. <laughs> you moon pied him. <laughs> I pied him into the thing. Damn. And he was like, I'm not going to complain. Yeah, dude. dude I was it was the grossest butt ever, dude. I would have been so mad. <laughs> you didn't care? Yeah. It was a disgusting stripper ass. How would you bring With you a down? butt plug. What? Wait, whoa, whoa. They what? all have plugs in. They had butt plugs in? Yeah. What? Like enough that I had to like point it out to Rainy. I was like, dude, you see that? They all have plugs in. He's like, oh, wow. Do you think that's to keep? <laughs> He's like, I've never seen that. Wow, that's, that's hilarious. That's his reaction. Like, yeah. Wow, he was sober too. <laughs> he was sober. I was interesting. It was BYOB. So all we had, we had it like one. Was more... that like a sanitary thing, just in case they I've, sharded? I have no idea what it was. Coke's cut with laxative a lot of times, so Bro? that might just be a prevention. That might be a COVID prevention. How dare you assume that these sex workers are doing narcotics? Uh, a lot do. <laughs> I'm just. I, I'm doing. I mean, they are getting pied. They get moon pied by. <laughs> so he, did he go up against man. the plug? He must have hit his face on the plug. On the plug? Yeah, I, I actually think he hit <laughs> tailbone. I think he went like forehead to tailbone on this thing. Perfect. But yeah, Bullseye. it was what a great night. I, Fuck, I, that's so I would fun. leave because then you had to stop drinking. Yeah. So we all had to chug our White Claws as fast as possible. Out in the parking lot. And then I would go out to the parking lot to chug a White Claw as fast as I could. Beezer's out and there come too. Back. Yeah, Beezer, Beezer was, made friends. Beezer made, yeah. He was outside slugging Hennessy. He was parking lot pimping, dude. He yeah. was out there just, yeah. Just holding it down. Yeah, he was slugging Hennessy. Good yeah, Lord. Beezer's outside slugging Hennessy with like two 30-year-old black dudes. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yo, take this. And it's like, I don't think they understood who they gave the alcohol to. <laughs> Beezer probably just absolutely dead yo, it Henny, dude. Dude. Yeah, was just fucking gay shit. Dude. Just chugged it. They probably thought they were going to punk the bees, but yo, here, drink this. Yeah. Bees grabbed the H Rock, dude. Bees? Just, they passed bees the H Rock, dude. He probably just drained it. I Bees put in work on Friday, dude. Yeah, dude. Saturday, <laughs> <laughs> Something happens where if bees takes Molly, his face turns like. <laughs> it's like totally pale. It's the craziest thing. <laughs> you won't you won't see him for like 20 you know like an hour then all of a sudden Beezer will walk back in with like headphones in and be like yo <laughs> <laughs> and his face is just he looks gray he's like yo it's all it's like oh my god dude <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I mean, dude. he really might be. He might be the, like the the, sa- the patron saint of broski. He's, <laughs> He's dying <laughs> soon, dude. It's soon, bro. So dude, he was so fucking funny all weekend. Oh my god, dude! Well, it's so funny how he gets so pleasant on Molly too. I mean, he's yeah. not like a dickhead by no. any means. But when he gets drunk, he gets kind of fired up. Yeah. But Molly, he's like, hey, what's yeah, up, man? Yeah, he's very man? chill. Yo, what's up, dude? Yeah. It's not like a dick. It's more of a <laughs> No, but he's still <laughs> fast, dude. So, all right. I'm not going to name names. True, true. But I'll be honest. Yeah. When we got back on Friday night, mm-hmm. somebody was like, yo, I have DMT. Yes. Now, at this point, I am very drunk. Yes. I would have, I should have never so, done this. First of all, it's what, 4.30? Th- yeah, it's about 4 a.m. Yeah. And uh, that was when we decided to rip as much DMT as possible, as if it was weed. Yeah, just kept passing. It's like a three man rotation, dude. It was. I, I I think because of all the alcohol and stuff, I didn't I didn't blast off sure. as hard. But yeah. it was like it felt bad. I felt bad. I felt like I was doing you know I was doing hard drugs, but sure. like oh. I was like this is what like doing. Well, like, you were doing DMT like hard. You guys smoked yeah. it like crack. Yeah, <laughs> someone someone was telling me that you like it would you guys would all rip it once and then party for like four minutes, yeah, dude. <laughs> for real for like five minutes, we were like, <laughs> and then go and back. They would wear off and be like, all right, we should chill. So you guys was like, were- all right, let's do one more. And like, all right, fuck. <laughs> and one guy, I'm not gonna name names. Obviously, he was like, yeah, give me that. <laughs> <laughs> and he just ripped it. Dude. The theories were confirmed. The theories were. And we he was like, one- I've never done that stuff. We dude. have one friend. We suspected of being a dmt addict dude <laughs> he, he, i've never seen anything like ass, it. dude i've never seen anything like it. he's a gremlin he gremlined out it is what it is and spaz dude he was spazzing oh, on dmt he was like get the fuck out of the way <laughs> <laughs> yeah so what the fuck now i don't want to make an excuse sure but that that led it's me pretty to solid, dude. i woke up hold on with- dong 
strip club, butt Dung plugs, strip club. lots of alcohol, DMT, DMT until about five, five in the morning, five, maybe six, about nine. Everyone else is milling around about nine o'clock in the morning, 9am. I started hearing people. I didn't wake up until somebody knocked on my door at like 1130 and mm-hmm. they were like, we got to go. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, zero chance. I tried, dude. I sat there for a minute and I was like, all right, I can do this. And then I, I was like, I actually, I have to shit. <laughs> I was like, this is going to be a half hour. You guys yeah. go ahead. And, uh, I got, I mean, I got there like maybe an hour late. I had no yeah, idea how we long are, that, we were, I had you, no idea how long that would take. You were also an hour late too. Like if we didn't start at that time, it would have started to kind of get fucked up Yeah, because it was, we were like, it closed at five. So we had like a two and a half, two and a half hours seemed like, I mean, it was war, dude. Yeah. I saw it. It was war. That was crazy. I've never seen paintball. Dude. That was nuts. Fucking nuts. So yeah. first of all, so yeah, so we, so you 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 were recovering, dude. You had dysentery. You caught dysentery at the camp. I obviously. did at the camp. Yeah, obviously. that happens. Happens, dude. So you know I mean? a horrendous <laughs> case of DMT induced dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> so we go out. We got there like late because it closed at five, and I think we got there like uh, I don't know, I forget two or so. But it took us. We got there. We left early. We all, we started rallying everyone around that yeah. time. Eleven thirty. I will say this also. Totally sober, awake at the time. I still would have not wanted to do that. Yeah, it was intense. When I got there and saw it, the first game, I was like, fuck, I fucked up. This looks awesome. Yeah. By the third game, I was like, thank Christ. Dude, I gotta I'm find, not doing this shit. I'm going to find a picture of my back, dude. I'm going to try to. Oh, my God. I'll hold it for the boys so they can see. It's it's jacked yeah, up. Yeah, then you guys all came back, like, dude, showing welts and shit. It's like and contusions. Like, what the fuck is this? Dude, that's the back, dude. Let me brighten up that screen a little bit there. Let me brighten up that screen a little there. That's the back, dude. Freeze frame mm. that. You see that? Yeah, dude. I that saw was it just, live. I saw it happen. Well, that that was that was the last that was battle. When you switched teams. Yeah. So that, yeah. so the, we show up there. The teams were, I don't know what they're the, the guys there. By the way, were chill as fuck. They were yeah. so cool. But they made these teams. I think it was just the fact that like these people came and they were already together. So you know, we just came. So we show so we show up and it's like, you know, twelve of us. It's like you know. A good amount of the men in my family, a lot of fucking just animals, dude. Yeah. Then like you know, obviously we have like. Dude, a, how tall is Pat? Like six nine? No, he's six five, six six. No, he can't be six. He's six six. He's six six. Like, really? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, Pat's six. So like we had we had some fucking nasty warriors. Bohemians. Dude. Yeah, we had some monsters. Yeah. And then it just so happens there's like about eleven or twelve of us, and then there's like twelve black dudes that show yeah. up. We're all on the same team. Yeah. Versus, this is just the facts. Office workers. Fat lesbians. Yes. A couple of office workers, tow truck drivers, which I found out, and I said, "Okay, no mm-hmm. fucking mercy." Yeah. And then uh, there was a couple of uh, Latino <laughs> father son duos. Yeah. <laughs> That's proof, dude. Dude, there was ch- there's women and children. Dude. I got there. I couldn't, women and children. I couldn't believe the mismatch. It was crazy. The, the pink team was the exact group you would not want to face. It was cool black dudes and Navy SEALs. Yeah, I'm not sure how else to describe. I would say yeah, you could, that would describe our squad pretty <laughs> accurately, dude. Versus, yeah, just like fats. dude, like the like there was like pink haired, uh, fat lesbians, children. Yeah, you know, like, obviously there's a couple of Latino fathers. They fought hard. They perished in front of me. I fucking lit them you up. executed the oh, Latino, the Latinx. Fathers. He was with his son. He's with his son, and I was conflicted. And I said, you know, you get the bullets firing at you. You say, all right. Pop, pop, yeah, pop, what pop. happened there? You executed a guy in the first game, I think. Well, no, no, that was that was almost the first game. I I was storming shelters, <laughs> so people people. This is how nasty we were playing because you know they were just kind of hide behind shit. I was going and actively like finding where they're at and hitting them point blank. I'd yeah. run up and say surrender, and if they didn't say anything back, I would hit them point blank. <laughs> I was fucking people up, dude. Yeah. So I had my boy Del G was laying cover fire. Del G, so he, Del, so G, Del, G Del, G's Del G's just he was shooting six inches over my head. Oh man! So anywhere I was standing, it would there would be a line of fire coming right over me. So I would run up on people. The first time they blew the whistle, I went, I went like that gunpoint, and the dude went, and the ref was right. He was like, No, 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 it's over. And I was like, Bro, you're fucking lucky. Yeah. So the next round, I did the same exact thing, obviously. So I stormed around the perimeter. I cut in on someone, and I was like, Dude, surrender! And he went, uh, and I just went bam and shot him in the head. In his mask, obviously. Yeah. He fucking shot me back, first of all, which is bullshit. Uh, you would have. Wiped it right off. You dude. would have done the same. True, actually. Somebody point blank shot you in the face. Well, it was like, like five, you, it was five feet. What it the was, fuck, dude? It was right in front of the ref. Yeah. So right, the ref was like, hey, hey, 10 foot rule. And I was like, I guess I have to offer him surrender then. I went right up to him. I was like, surrender. And he was like, went pop and just fucking nailed him. Dude, the rest of that time, then there was like, so I, you know, that was just one part of it. And first of all, I was wiping paint constantly. I would get hit and just be like, yeah. Because I'm not paying money to go sit on this. You have to make me surrender. 
I'm not going to get hit. I'm not going to get winged and go out of battle. It's yeah. like, dude, that's just one arm down then. Dude, so I, at one point, I'm sitting there, and uh, I started, like, ramboing and going off alone a lot. So I see there's, you know. Yeah, you guys had a whole team of, there was probably about five of you that were ramboing out. A lot of us were, yeah. Yeah, and it was, definitely cheating. Well, you know, again, there was somebody was wiping their face. There was one time You're like, man, we killed those guys. It's like, yeah, you guys all cheated. Dude, I watched. You, would, you would hit them and they would they would go, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. You, you don't go out in paintball unless you get fucking hit hard enough. Unless the ref sees you. Exactly. Yeah. I would even argue with the ref. There's a couple of times like, where do I have paint? I'd have paint all over me. Yeah. Like, where? And he'd be like, whatever, dude, just fucking go ahead. <laughs> dude, at one point, people would start doing a thing where they'd hold their hands out and shoot, and I would just start shooting. You know, you can eventually line up and aim it so you hit them right in their trigger. You hit them right in the hand. <laughs> hit, took a Latino dad out that way. Fucking popped him in the hand like three times. He surrendered, and I saw his boy, and I was like, I'm going to let you live. And he you sent, it, the, yeah. sent a couple my way, and I said, all right. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Lit his fucking ass up. And I'm, you know, I'm 10 feet. I'm 10 foot rule. But, dude, I was – so I'm, like, just absolutely being a jerk, dude. Like, just – again, the whole operation was go, lay cover, fire, move to another thing. And these people were just, like, sitting there like, huh. I would go and just try to get the angle on them. So I would shoot, shoot, shoot. They would go down. I would just book it, go to another location that you'd see them like pop up and look around and I'd have a direct line on them from the side. Yeah. Bah, 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 let off like 20 shots, dude. And they were just all going, I'm done. Like, <laughs> yeah. they, it was full surrender. Dude, it was so. Dude, when I got there. But they switched, they switched me. That that place skirmish. That place is sick. Dude. So fucking sick. I got there. I was like, holy shit. This is yeah. like legit. It was like fucking Call of Duty levels. Yeah. Do you know like they dude. reenact uh, D-Day once a year? Really? They do a thing where they have, it's like, I don't know if it's thousands of people, but it's hundreds, and they reenact Storming Normandy. Mm. You can either be the Germans or the that Allies. There's a heavy demand to be the Germans. The Germans won last year. I watched one <laughs> the of the Germans. Things. Dude, I bet the Germans win <laughs> yeah, quite yeah, a bit. Yeah. They, won, they won the year. It's so funny. be a lot of dudes there that. Because they're like, we are the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, whoa. Yeah, chill, chill. Chill, dude. Yeah, I got there, pulled up. I was hurting, and I heard dudes like screaming in shipping containers. Yeah. And I was just like, oh my God, thank God. Yeah. Dude, thank yeah, God dude, that hung like over. Getting lit up in a shipping container. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Stop, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I look, I understand. I understand the criticisms. I mean, dude, I'm, I'm sticking to my you, guns. I'll make, that, I'll make that exact decision 10 out of 10 times. Yeah. It's your Zero life, chance. Dude. You're living your life. We needed you as a general back there. Dude. I was back. I was. I was supporting the best I could. I was motivating Bill. Bill was fun to watch. You were firing him up big dude, time. He was so showing funny. off. He was showing off for me. He would run over to where I was standing and do like the sign of the cross at me and point and then like run <laughs> straight across the battle. It's so funny. Oh my god. Well, dude, funny. when I was on my team, I was like, these things don't even hurt because they weren't really hitting me. They yeah. were just, you know, they weren't really hitting me that much. And uh, so we fuck. They switched our teams. So then they put me on the fat lesbian tow truck driver team with a couple of other people. And, dude, I felt what I had been doing. I was getting a fucking annihilated. Dude, I, yeah. at one point I got hit in the side of the head <laughs> and, like, saw SARS. <laughs> and I was just fully – that was the only time I was like, take me out. I'm done. Yeah. Take me out. I'll be back in the next game. But, dude, there was uh, – I got fucked up, man. Yeah, dudes were getting rocked I got in the head the whole time. My fucking hand, dude. My yeah. hand still hurt. I got hit. My trigger finger kept getting crushed. <laughs> but, yeah, so I went on the other team and fully tasted what I had been doing to people. I mean, I'd still do it again. Obviously, it was yeah. battle, but dude, it was that shit. I mean, you me. had to do it. Then they made me run the gauntlet. Apparently, they yeah, were like, was, All right, I, you're, I knew that was coming. You're the I, bachelor, so they made me run while my whole team fired on me. Yeah. I fuck, and, you know, obviously, they told Wes to come too. So yeah. me and Wes, I tried to charge and shoot. Bro, as soon as they were like, Who's the best man? I got out of the woods, got dude. Out of Dodge, I dude. walked got out away. Of I was like, Dude, <laughs> yeah. I'm not coming near this fucking thing. That fuck, that, that, that yeah. hurt me. And then the last, last game, we we're in this thing, the castle. And then. Our team combined with the tow truck drivers, uh, the black dudes who were on our team, all of us combined, we were playing against each yeah, other. Yeah, I left before that. Against two other squads. I didn't get to see this. Dude, we stormed this castle. And oh, that you was, guys did the castle one? Yeah, dude. Oh, shit. That was at the very end. So we're, that was the one I wanted to see. You're in a castle, dude, and there's just wall and wall. Someone could be like, you talk about getting point blank. You don't know what the fuck's going on. There's like nine different colors. It was fucked up. So we, uh, we're storming the castle. We're actually doing pretty well. And I'm leading the front. I'm fucking like, you know, I'm going out, blah, 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 going gaining territory and all of a sudden you'll like you know go from thing to thing all of a sudden i start like you know you'll see bullets coming one way and you're like all right try fire back yeah when they're coming from like three or four directions you're going oh no <laughs> like i'm in a bad spot let me get out of here so i go doo, 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 doo. i'm laying it's like the end of it too so i'm just i was shooting the entire yeah. time so i was trying to use all my paint so i'm like contra you know just, just i had the s spread dude i was just blah, 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 blah. the whole time I'm, I'm even looking at shit my trigger's going so i'm like i gotta get i'm getting hit i gotta get the fuck out of here so i just break to go back to where all my boys were 
I'm like, if I zigzag, they won't hit me. Someone must have had a fucking line on me, dude, because it was. I'm running. <laughs> For like 10, 10 straight <laughs> yeah. seconds, someone hit me. It was like, dunk, dunk, dunk. Every step, I'm like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> got absolutely annihilated, dude. Yeah, and then that was finally, when you got hit in the back. That was, yeah, that was just after I got hit in the back from doing the other things. It's the coward's death. Yeah, dude, big time. <laughs> so then I keep shooting, I keep shooting, and then we go back in, and I have, I've gotten, <laughs> <Running away. laughs> I had already gotten hit directly in the face like four times yeah. on my visor. So I'm like wiping pain. I can't see fucking anything. So at this point, I'm just a, you know, I'm, I'm like in the call of duty when like the world goes gray. I would see people. I'm like, I don't know if you're on my team at the top of the castle. I'm just shooting them. Like, dude, this is it. Shooting everyone. The ref just turns. He's like, dude, you're fucking out. I'm like, what? And he's like, I'm like, where? I, every time, where? And they're like, it's literally, you have four yeah. hits on your face. And I was like, take me out, bro. Yeah. Had to walk like this. I oh. you, I just wanted to use up all my paint. Yeah. Dude, on that, that, most fun I've ever the had. The second to last one was Billy and a couple – I think Spud or somebody, yeah. they were all against this side of this shipping container. So mm -hmm. I could see them. And the whole time, like, this shit doesn't hurt. This shit doesn't hurt. Dude, somebody, I think it was Kev, yeah. fucking just lit. The, it looked like an execution. They were against a wall. And it was just, doo -doo -doo -doo, and they were like, oh, <laughs> like <laughs> screaming and like high stepping. <laughs> dude. Yeah, that was, it was fun to watch. It was fun on, to watch. It fucking hurts, dude. Yeah. I, I've heard the first couple, I'm like, this doesn't even hurt. And I, so I started getting real bold when they switched teams with me. When I switched teams, I started tasting the wrath, dude. And it yeah. was like, this fucking sucks. It was fun. I Either way, I had a blast. Yeah. I'm de I, dude, I might get into competitive paintball. You should. I might, dude. Yeah. It's so fun. That I, was the most I fun I've had. You. That'd be sick. Yeah. If I had any competitive paintball, we should sponsor a fucking competitive paintball team. No, we shouldn't. I, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to sponsor myself, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you should. That, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was, that was fun to watch. Full, I've also fully great. respect your decision, dude. Oh, I don't. I've, I've, dude. That was that's crazy time. I've grown past it. That was funny too. And I was just like, dude, your brain was just out of the the good stuff. Yeah, you were was... unable to produce like reassuring thoughts. You used up all the fluid. Your ser your brain was completely that was, devoid yeah, of Sunday serotonin. Sunday morning. Yeah, your brain, oh my god, you had no serotonin. You have a major PR storm on your hands. A huge PR storm. Yeah, dude. I mean, dude. Prince, uh, what was the one? Prince Andrew? I was getting Andrew? DMs from dudes that were yeah. like, you better fucking get a hold of this, dude. Everyone's calling you a pussy. Yeah, dude. For not going paintball. And I was like, what? Prince Andrew was probably like. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <sighs> Jesus, Ooh. finally. Someone else is taking Finally, the, the tension's off of me. That was yeah. the guy who was chilling with Epstein, right? I think so. I think it was Andrew. Um, I think it was Aunt, bad Andy, dude. So after paintball, we get back. Yeah. The fellas are resting up. Yeah. Licking our wounds. We start cracking them. Start drinking a little. Start having fun. Yeah. We went, I think we went to another bar. Oh, yeah, we went to that lake or that. Uh, Nick's. Nick's. Yeah, that was fun. That was sick. Get back. That's when we start doing drugs. Yeah. Well, the drinking, first of all, don't downplay at the bar. <laughs> We're at the bar, and I'm, I'm like sitting there, you know, I'm, I was sitting there chilling, smoking my weed. So I'm sitting there, I'm observing. I'm seeing people just drinking, like, like people at that, that we were there for what? You guys were there a little longer. But I was watching a couple of people who got there, and it was just like a full night's worth of drinking in, in the span yeah. of an hour and a half, easily. Like, you know, nine, ten drinks. So everyone, yeah. so alcohol had been done. Everyone did alcohol. Yeah, we did alcohol. And then you came back. Did Yeah, and then we decided to try other drugs. Tiesto. We mollied. Yeah. A couple of us. No names. Majority. Majority. <laughs> yeah. And it was great. And it was yeah. going very well. well For yeah. some reason, the first one I took and a couple people took, were they felt like duds. Yeah. After like an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. It was like, these aren't working like they usually do. We should take more. Yeah. Which we did. And they worked. Yes. And then we were, and we were off. And then this is where things on this trip, you guys thought that was a PR nightmare? Yeah. It's nothing compared to the trauma I was about to experience. Well, the mushrooms came out. Then a giant bag of mushrooms was laid upon the bar. Yeah. And just laid out. Just Yeah, just, it was like, hey, this is for anybody. And I had already taken quite a, amount, quite a lot of Molly yeah. at this point. And I decided it was time for me to start eating handfuls of mushrooms. <laughs> and uh, at first it was great. Sure. At first it was wonderful. Yeah, the the trip, fire, fire switching going. between the molly and into just hallucinations yeah. seemed great. It was very fun. And then things took an incredibly dark turn. Yep. And I couldn't see or hear for several hours. Yep. You blacked out. Or move. Yeah. I did. I, I, you yeah, might, I did. I did pretty will, much black dude, out. Mushrooms will black you out. Yeah. Especially that much, they immobilize Bro, you. Bro, it was 
like it started. I think you were. I was still chatting with yeah. you when it started. I, I had was six like, eyes. Yeah, yeah, you had six eyes. Everybody had multiple eyes. People Every had sig- multiple faces and shit. It was, that was. Cr- I was hearing. Uh, people were telling me. I was getting the reports from everyone <laughs> the next day, and like, dude, like, I think uh, Spud had like six. Fa- he had like four faces from one. I was watching people communicate telepathically. Being like, I just thought that too. It was very fucking dude, funny to walk in on. You're lucky. You're lucky you didn't do it. Yeah, I chilled. I know you said you, yeah. Yeah. I have, I have that my, was bad. I have my five grammar coming up in a week, basically. That was, and I was a bad like, way. Let me just, let me chill. I should have never done that. No, you should have. That was important. You did that. In yeah, hindsight, I'm like, that was cool. But yeah. at the time, that was oh yeah, legit the worst thing I've ever experienced. Dude, you got, I was telling you, man, you went into it like it was <laughs> literally cold of Dionysus yeah. that just got absolutely stormed by medieval Catholicism. You guys were, it was drinking, it was Molly, and then all of a it sudden, love it, you. it was just, oh, 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 oh. And it was like, it's time to examine everything. Yeah, dude. How about some trauma? You want to relive that a yep. thousand times like it's brand new every time for five yeah. hours? <laughs> What's, which is funny, too, because that's like a really effective form of uh, yeah. therapy. That works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exposure therapy. It, yeah. it, that's how you move a thing from your amygdala down to the area of like where, where things have been processed and they don't affect your biology. Yeah, pretty, there was- Pretty crazy. There was some things that apparently were a little more traumatic than I originally sure. thought. Yeah. And they came back. Yeah. Quite happens. a bit. Yeah, man. And every time I'd be like, did that happen? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> and then a minute later, I'd be like, oh, fuck. Did that happen? <laughs> fuck. Just over and over again. And then I'd forget about it and keep going. We were sitting out by this fire. I, every single thing somebody said, it, the way my brain was processing it, it felt like they had just said it a minute before. So, like, if you were like, hey, what's up, man? It would have felt like you said it twice. You pierced the veil, dude. And I'd just be like, what? Yeah, you pierced the space-time co- continuum. Dude, I couldn't process one thing. And apparently, I was just sitting there by this fire. I was like. <sighs> yeah. And then I'd, like, look up out of my hat and be like. <laughs> what? <laughs> dude, I couldn't move for five hours. I was just like, what? <laughs> Holy shit. It was terrible. Then I. Hoss was sitting there. Hoss yeah. butt fucked me. Matt's cousin Hoss is a absolute demon. Yeah, complete gargoyle. Yeah, you told him. He sat there. I was like, dude, you're you're the worst. Well, he had faltered. Like, he, like, he had faltered. Well, he had faltered earlier, he did. and he rebuilt himself. Yeah, I was there for him rebuilding himself. So I was there with him when he was faltering. I was chilling out by the fire, just shooting the breeze with him, and he rebuilt himself back up to his former glory. And then just saw you and just fully oh. he was just like, ah. <laughs> yeah, like ah, what's wrong with him? I, I do like, think he oh. was trying to help you. It was just he was just hossing. He was he just regained hoss powers, dude, and he couldn't help not hoss out on you. And those hoss powers are <laughs> while you're while you're in the nether realm, <laughs> oh intolerable. Uh, uh, yeah, so you like, were sitting there, you were chilling and hoss. Spud man was you. to my left and he was giving me all the support he could. Mm-hmm. He knew. Yeah. He could see me and he'd be like, Shane, you're the man. You're the man. I'd just be like, thanks. (laughs) Or I'd be like, what? (laughs) Guys, I'm blind. (laughs) I can't see. (laughs) It was, and then one, they'd be talking and it it would just be gibberish. I couldn't understand. And then I was just staring at the fire. It was, it was very cool. Like the hallucinations were awesome. Yeah. That's why I'm wearing tie-dye now. (laughs) Obviously. (laughs) Shit. (laughs) But. (laughs) It was funny. You went and busted out your one tie-dye in his Notre Dame. Sweet. You have a Notre Dame shirt for every type of occasion. Yeah, for every yeah, every mood I'm in. Uh, but yeah, and then I finally, well, I'll just fast forward, mustered the strength to, to stand. And I was like, all right, I'm going to bed. Even when I did that, Hoss was like, are you actually this time? And I was like, what? Oh. <laughs> like, I must have said it a thousand times. I yeah, like, yeah. I got to go to bed. Yeah. So I go in, I lay down. This is, this is where the worst one happened. Yeah. I was laying in bed. You saw it shelter. That that's a reflex that happens, dude. You eventually are like, can I just go like encase myself in a? It was like that's where it kicked off. Fully clothed, yeah. Shoes on, probably just awesome. laying on top of this bed with mm-hmm. my feet hanging off of it, like face down. <laughs> and I started hallucinating that I was dying. Yeah. Of I presume a drug overdose. That's what I think it was. Yeah. And like, I could see it. It was just totally real. Like it was like. My friends were around me at first while I was laying there, like dead, dying on the ground. Yeah. Like I saw Beezer being like, what the fuck, dude? Oh. Like, this is fucked up, dude. And I was like, eh. And then I would die. Like I would leave and I would go to heaven or something. Yeah. Where Phil was for nice. some reason. My dad was there. Yeah. I was like, dad, I love you. <laughs> like, it was like that. And then I would get shot back to dying. 
where with like EMTs like shining lights into my eyes and like Shane, are you there? Like trying to resuscitate me. Damn, it fucking dude. sucked ass, dude. How long was that for? I well, have maybe. no idea. I don't know if even time even applies. I swear to God, I have no idea. But it felt like forever. So like, it was all night. You you were lived out a potential like yes. deviation in your potential. You, I mean, you have an infinite amount of timelines, but you went and visited one of them. Yeah, it Damn. was a sad time. You did the dude. ghost of fentanyl past. I did, yes. I did the <laughs> ghost of cocaine future, dude. <laughs> and I have done with drugs for a long time. Damn, dude. I was offered drugs last night. I said, get that junk out of here, dude. Damn. I said, I've been there, done that. No. I've died and come back. I have died. On the, on the third day, I rose. Whoa, yeah. dude. I'm, I'm risen. So, dude, that's fucking awesome. It was, yeah, it was terrible. I can't see what, I, I can't wait to see what the mushroom demon show me, dude. I'm going to get rocked. <laughs> don't do I'm it. doing five grams don't do total it. silence. I have to, dude. I know it's you fate. do. It's I know fate you at do. this point. And you're going you're gonna to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it. It's yeah. going to be, if it's anything like I just did, it's yeah. going to suck I mean, ass. Especially you did under, it, it will, it will be difficult for sure. But like, dude, that's the, God, that's horrible. I, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't mentally prepared at all for that. I was on Molly just like, everything's this shit. Yeah, dude, for, everything's the best. I love all you guys so much. Yep. And then just like a fucking switch. It was just like, you're a fan. I was like, what? <laughs> it was crazy. But this made me laugh. Like, even when I was, like, in the darkest realms of this shit. Yeah. Like, couldn't see. Could Like, anything I looked at was just squiggles and hallucinating. Sure. Every once in a while, Butterly would talk, and he was using this, like, yeah, man, everything's great. Like, this real monotone thing. And something deep inside me, like, while I was out, would be like, yeah, that shit's so gay. <laughs> like, still in me. I was like, I'd be like. That's so gay. <laughs> it was fucking crazy, dude. Damn. Yeah. Then I passed away, came back, woke up to everyone leaving. It was raining. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh God, yeah. It was the saddest It was the day. worst day you could leave. It was the leave. saddest. It was like a gloomy, it, cold rain. Dead trees because we were still in the mountains. Cleaning up shit. Everyone cleaning, just laying there. It was One thing that was funny, I looked at Billy because Billy was like looking at me like, holy shit, dude, how are you? And I was like... That's what I call a party. <laughs> like, like waking up from hallucinating and dying and be like, hell yeah, that ruled. <laughs> Sick party. Uh, that was White Claw Billy, too. That was White Claw Billy. That was so fun. White dude. Claw Billy was. White Claw Billy rules, dude. So funny. He needs to start drinking often. Dude. It, He's the best. It's so funny. And then he becomes, uh, so, he becomes so aggro in a way that's so funny yeah, too. Yeah, it's great. It's it's too funny, man. It was uh, him at a wedding is funny. When he, it's the only wait. time he drinks is at a wedding. Can't wait, dude. It's so funny. He just picks on. He finds like one person and just absolutely devastates them the entire night. <laughs> yeah. it's so funny, so funny. He had Hoss in the crosshairs. Hoss might have been the funniest. He made shit. Hoss turn his hat back around, dude. Twice. Well, Hoss fucking picked on weed tincture. So he was picked on. He was. And he That's what I was making fun of. Yeah, I was. I because before I picked on the mushrooms, mm -hmm. I was making fun of him. I was like, he picked out on the tinctures. Yep. <laughs> An hour later, I was like, oh, I picked out. <laughs> picked and Billy would see him and just be like, "That's not the one, dude." He has some deep oh, that was, Yeah. And he owned him at one point. It was like full MK Ultra. He owned him, mind, body, and he soul. He told him to turn his head and around. He, he did it. He did it, it like three over. times, and he would just over. go. That's fucking D3 bullshit, dude. dude. Yeah. Turning around, he'd be like, dude, and he'd wait like 10 minutes, be like, yo, we're boys, right? <laughs> Every single yeah. time. Yo, we're fucking boys, right? And he'd be like, stop, go away from me. And he'd be like, yo, I'm just going to tell you this straight up, dude. You're you're more of a party guy. Spin that thing back around. He would just be like, spin this, dude. It was the fucking funniest it thing. Was... And he would, he would be like, fucking Billy fucking owns me. Stop, dude. Yeah. It was so funny. And this was, wasn't he telling you like his mind was a steel trap upstairs? 15 minutes prior. And then he came down and was 15. like, I don't want to do this. I want out of this. <laughs> and he's that was be, just the nice gonna stuff. So, I'm going to get a, a phone call from the Hoss man. Why? From this? No, he's, he'll be fine. But it was funny. He genuinely was upstairs telling me unsolicited that his mind is an absolute steel trap. Yeah. And I was like, so I was Sick. upstairs trying to figure out how I'm going to boil this burger on the stove, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was one of my final memories. That was still nice. I walked upstairs and Matt was high as shit. <laughs> he was just trying to broil a burger. There's just smoke everywhere. I was trying to cook it on the stove top. I didn't feel like, like dealing clearly with Clearly a fire was about to start. It was bad. It yeah. was a lot. I thought the fire alarm was going to go yeah. off. So, I, you know, but Shane came up and broiled a burger. I'm like, dude, it's fine. I'm not even. I was just smoking. Dude, I, I've come to the conclusion that smoking weed doesn't really do. I have to eat it. I can. Mm. I'm sure, like the dabs and all that stuff would fuck me up if I sit there and smoke weed. Yeah, you were smoking them like it was. I was like chain cigarettes smoking them, bro. Too. That's why my yeah. Brittany's like, "You sound like you're getting sick." I'm like, "No, I lost my voice because I was chain. I was compulsively yeah. smoking marijuana cigarettes all weekend." Yeah, I came up on 
three hits of Molly to see Matt just boiling a burger. And I was just like, dude, this is, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I was like, what you're doing is crazy. He's like, what, what are you talking about? Like, I and I was like, dude, this feels bad. This could be bad. <laughs> it was full of and Matt started to be like, is it? <laughs> I'm like, I don't think it's a bad thing. And I'm like, I should have cooked burgers for everybody. I'm so fucking <laughs> selfish. Yeah, that second night was one of the funnest nights. I mean, that whole day was one yeah. of the funnest days in my life. Easily one of the funnest days in my life. Yeah, that was fun. That was really fun. And the, at the end of that, I mean. I regret, the one the one regret I do have is not eating mushrooms. For some reason, I had it in my head like, I need to preserve myself for that you one. You should. No, you did the right thing. Yeah, but it would have been It would have so been fun, fun to have you out with the fire. That's what I'm saying, dude. But. I, like all my boys are in the nether realm. It will happen again for sure. Well, maybe I'm, not, might chill. I'm, I'm never going to the nether realms again. True. That was it. I've True. been there. That was, I'm done. You have one, in this, you know, in the, the one, I, I believe you, but there's one small, I would say, you know, <laughs> yeah, scale. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do it again. <laughs> like if it was here, like on a weekend. You're drinking like, something right, else. Fine, fine. But, but I, under, I agree. I, there is no desire because once yeah. you, you, you had an ego death, dude. It, Your ego dissolved. All that junk. And then you transcended, dude. You remote viewed a possible future. That's also, while crazy. I was dying, I was like trying to like tell my boys, like, dude, it's okay. For I, sure. I've been to the other side. It's tight. Go ahead. Like when I was coming back, I was like, let me go back up there. Dude, you might be king. Bro? You might be king, dude. Bro? Spud's convinced. Spud came out of this being like, <laughs> Shane's king. That's all. <laughs> That's all. So, dude, I needed that so bad because I woke up rainy. Rainy morning, yeah. Sunday, gloomy. It was cold. Yeah, man. I, I had nothing in the tank. I was still hallucinating in the morning. I was walking up the steps, and the steps were, like, swirling. And I was like, ooh, I'm about to drive. <laughs> got to drive down these mountains. <laughs> uh, and I get in the car. My phone had been dead all night. I yeah. open it. I was like, oh, see what's going on on Reddit. Everyone's like, Shane Skip Paypal. He's the biggest faggot of all time. And I was just like, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Devastating. Yeah, man. Yeah. What a wonderful weekend, though. But. What a fantastic Dude, when I came out of the mountains, the fucking, the clouds broke. It was just a beautiful oh, spring day. Jesus got Christ. to go watch my niece and nephew run in these races at this park when I got back. Man. Oh, it was so nice. That's awesome. It was so nice. Went down, laid in my parents' basement on the ground. Oh. My cat, Tibble, came over and bumped his head against he knew. me. Tibble knew. Everybody knew. Tibble Everybody knew. knew I was different. I came home, my family was like, are you all right? I went out with my lady the next night to dinner, and she was like, you seem different. I was like, well, I died yesterday. <laughs> I died multiple times. I died times. last night. <laughs> I saw my death last night. And I tried to explain it to her, and she was like, oh. Yeah, a lot of bays are not with that. She thought it was funny. She was laughing at it. Not angrily. They just go. I mean, a lot of people in general just you, go, When you guys talked oh, what, about all that, like the ego death, all that shit, I was like, this is hogwash. It's real, dude. That was entirely everything you guys talked about happened. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. In a little, just tiny little fucking weird little mushroom, dude. Yeah. It contains all that. Prophetic. Isn't I don't know crazy? how prophetic. I mean, you're convinced I'm definitely going to overdose. No, I don't think well, you will. Now, it. now you won't. <laughs> I'm saying, because, you know, we it's, you know, us in the present moment, and then there's a sea of potentiality. You know, there's just some things, and the mushrooms are going, hmm, here's one you want to stay away from, and you just went, roger that. Yes. If you didn't do, you know what I mean? It's the universe like, did communicate pretty heavily, like chill it's crazy dude it's time to chill i mean dude there's no proof that time is linear we you know in terms of our consciousness it could exist elsewhere in time and space and we're just kind of like you know we can kind of if we, if we get good at it we can kind of go back and forth i'm saying i'm not going <laughs> to rule that out do okay. i know that's okay. the case i don't know of course it's definitely not not it's not Look, definitely not the case normally i'd be shutting this down as best <laughs> i could but i've seen some evidence <laughs> i see quite a bit of evidence that points to your argument I've been reading Rupert Sheldrake. Too. Dude, he's the goat. I had to. I had to go watch my. I watched the Darkest Hour with Winston Churchill. Did you? It always inspired. You need me. some Churchill. To I need Churchill dude. to just be like, yeah, just to be he's like, in the he's in the muck for sure. And when the time when they needed him, he came out, started swinging, talking yeah. shit. Churchill's a man, dude. Easily, dude. I'm gonna start throwing up the V for victory in every picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was unbelievable, man. What a trip, dude. That was so fun. Yeah. Pying Spud into an ass was one of my favorite Seen things a big I've ever ass done. Dick. It's a huge dick. Watching just Spud and Billy, Spud and Pat. Yeah. That was like my favorite thing, talking about how there was medieval Spuds and Pats. Oh, yeah. Like a thousand Pats would go into a village of Spuds and they'd all start <laughs> scurrying. <laughs> yeah, Pat's 6'6. Six, six. Pat is a Viking. Yes. Yeah. 6'6. Six, six. He's, he's just talking about how he basically only has diarrhea or just failed a couple times. <laughs> yeah, dude. 
He's like, I either have liquid shits or just fail to test. Yeah, people were crushing me. Like me and Randy were walking. He was like, do you ever eat anything healthy? Like he wasn't saying it to be mean. He was just asking. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> we kept walking. I was like, fuck. Who was asking that? Randy. He was being nice. He was trying to be like, we was just being open. Because <laughs> I talked to him before about yeah, it. Yeah. I was like, I just can't. Like all yeah. that shit. And he was like, do you ever eat anything healthy? And I was like, <laughs> like walking up this hill. <laughs> <laughs> dude oh this was my favorite one so uh i think it was right after while we were while i was like dying hoss brought up snl and started yeah. asking questions while i was literally like <sighs> yeah. he was like what do you think about snl and i was like what <laughs> why would you say that <laughs> so then the rest of the guys start trying to like build me up yeah. and rain era uh, butterly was like he did one of those things where you like kind of tear someone down to be like but yeah you're the man but he left out the but you're the man so he was just like look dude you lost us now you're like kind of you're a piece of shit right now like all that stuff and then he just stopped he's trailed and off. i was just like sitting here like yeah i was like you gotta you gotta finish <laughs> finish that <laughs> yeah man, it was, oh, was so fucking funny. it was sit by the fire was incredible Sid the kid rolled up the last Sid night the kid was chilling they all first I, of all can we just yeah. take a page out of Sid the kid in terms of how he deals with bay Leaves a wedding. And it's like, I'm out. I'm going to the mountains. It's like, dude, what an animal. Leaves a wedding reception. It's like, all right, catch you later. So, uh, yeah, he's he out of his mind, down, dude. dude. He holds out it of down. Mind. He's out of his mind. He holds it down, dude. He's an insane person. He's 1950s, dude. He's a good, insane person. He's 1950s he, He's household. a 1950s white guy. <laughs> he's insane, dude. <laughs> it's insane. He's a strong black conservative. He dude. is a strong black conservative, which is tight, but. Dude, leaving a wedding. I, did, I was like trying to run the, I was running the simulation in my head being like, all right, Britt, it's been fun at this wedding. I'll uh, I'm go chill with my boys at the wedding. That would have been that would be a half an hour argument. Just yeah, with the it. fucking V for Victor. Just fucking right? like, yo, I'm out. I mean, obviously, they probably talked about it, but I was just sitting there like, damn, dude, just being at a wedding, knowing you're about to chill with your boys is like pretty sick. Oh, man. Yeah. It's funny. He, it, how high and quiet he gets just makes me laugh so hard. Yeah. Catch him at helium in the corner every now and again. He's just <laughs> so quiet. Yeah. So high. Yeah. They all They all got launched as well. Yeah. I don't know if they went to the dark world like I did. I think they stayed right in that yes. lane. There's like, if you're at like an eighth, you're tripping your balls off. As soon as you start to edge over that, that's when like you seek shelter. Dude, I was eating so many like chunks of these yeah. mushrooms that I couldn't swallow them. Like it was yeah. too dry. That's it. like I was like forcing them down. Yeah. You pig. Pigged out as hard as I could on those things. Because I at the time I thought it was going to be funny. It was. <laughs> no, it was going to be a right. good bit. <laughs> it, was. it was not a good bit, dude. <laughs> I passed away. I was deceased. It's so sick, dude. Yeah. So fucking sick. It was fun, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see if it sticks. Yeah, Last night, it stuck. Yeah. Last night, people offered me things, and I said, I can't. Yeah. Like, there was no part of me that wanted to do it. Yeah. And I had some Bud Lights flowing a little. That's, and I was still that's like, crazy. No. That's crazy to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. We'll I mean, see. Dude, and I they, left. I left early. Had my last bottle. I was like, I'd right, see everybody. Yeah, that dude. It puts it's a, a big, good feeling. Yeah, it is. I don't leave early. I never leave early. Yeah, go walking home, out. Yeah, chilled. Put on some. Yeah, dude, it's the best. I mean, dude, it puts a hole in the serotonin theory. How they're like, oh, you're depressed. Your brain doesn't produce enough serotonin. It's like, okay, I'm sure that's the case. You know. No, I got plenty of serotonin up there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Molly's it's proved true. that. It's been like, yo, you got a lot of <laughs> yeah. This stuff there's a lot here. of juice up here. So that's the, that's the question, but it's like okay, so that's the that's the dominant model in terms of people's like mental well being. It's like, well, it's not you, it's not anything you're doing. Your brain's just slightly defunct, but someone has one mystical experience on psilocybin, yeah. and all of a sudden, and like the, the, all the studies show this, dude. Like, I think it's like 18 months later, you have people who like won't smoke cigarettes anymore, yeah. aren't as depressed, aren't as anxious. Fucking blows a hole in the serotonin hypothesis, dude. Which, by the way, hasn't been shown that good in studies. Yeah. It's not much more better than placebo. Hey, I'm going to be a dick because that's like a lot of people's like, you know, that's the, what keeps them moving. But, dude, I'm talking science, scientist to scientist, dude. Now that we're both shamans. Yes. <laughs> I think this podcast is going to fall apart now that we're both. No way, dude. <laughs> there's, there's no yin and yang anymore. No, there's yin and it's yang. It's just dude. yins, dude. I might have to yang. We're a bunch of yinzers. The mushrooms might yang me out. That'd be sick if, if, they we, yanged if me? we switched. <laughs> dude, that'd be awesome. The mushrooms just yanked me out. Just switched personalities. They could. No, that's. I'm done with that stuff for a little. True, true. But that was just I a little shock. It. That was a shock. I had to look. I felt its power. It's got some power. You go back to calling it gay. I'm going back to get. Well, some of it's gay. <laughs> <laughs> some of it is gay, in fact. 
dying is gay. Sure. Like experiencing death is gay as hell. <laughs> that shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That was, and also I've never, I've taken small amounts of mushrooms. And so it's just like, it feels like you're kind of high. You chipped. It's fun. Yeah, you chipped. It's having fun. Yeah. I've never hallucinated like that. Yeah. Like where everything was a hallucination. Yeah. I've never taken acid, so I don't know. You never entered God's house. God's house is gay. <laughs> that shit sucks, dude. Every, I mean, it looks Dang cool. It, it looks cool. Here. It looks cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm going about, you're watching me hoss. You're watching me hoss out. Like, well, actually, everything else is gay. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, no, that's awesome, man. Yeah, we put those put those sketches, that first sketch out yesterday. Dude. Got that going. That was, I saw it. That was, I, I think that, I believe that could have been our weakest one. We'll see. That's a strong. So way that's to, what that's I a strong was, way to come out. Yeah, it's just like hey, and yeah, it was sip just on a, this. It was just a weird one. It yeah, was a fun one. Take a sip. That was fun. Yeah, take a sip. Yeah, people don't know what they're in store for right now. Yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot coming. Thought of one today with Gary Vee's. Oh that's, yeah, did I just tell you? I think you started to. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Oh one. yeah, you did. You did. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna be awesome, dude. Yes, I mean, couldn't be more excited. Yes, people, please subscribe to Gillian Keeps yeah, on man. YouTube. Get that would help me that. out. I dude, I I keep hearing people even if you don't like it. Just hit, yeah, do it. Just do it for us, dude. Do it, dude. Do Please. it because we, we're friends. Dude, we rarely ask for anything. We're friends. Yeah, we literally. You literally. guys are mean friends, but we're yeah. friends. That was uncalled for, dude. What the fuck, dude? That is uncalled for, man. There's a lot of jerks, dude. I mean, it, it, you know, sometimes stuff gets lost in translation through text. People like, you know, trying to josh on you. I think there were a lot more guys trying to josh. I think people are trying to I josh. I did see that. Like, Every now and again, you get you do have someone who ups the ante, like, no, actually, it's factually horrible. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, yeah, yeah. all right, dude, take it easy. Yeah. I mean, dude, we're standing on the precipice. Of just, I wouldn't say utopia, but like, dude, shit's going to get, I think get really sweet. Yeah. Like 15, 10 years from now. Yeah. But it, How know. so? What do you mean? Dude, blockchain technology, decentralized media. People are going to stop. Be, dude, I, fuck, I got to fight. There's a video, there's a, someone sent this to me on Instagram and it was funny too because I kind of felt like a dick because they sent me a video and it was uh, this guy, I forget, I forget his name, I got to pull it up, but he was on the Tim Ferriss podcast and, you know, it was like blah, 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 Bitcoin that Balaji. I don't, know, I don't know how the fuck, however you say that. Balaji, Let me see it. Oh. Balaji. I think, I think they call it. It's made him. up. <laughs> it's a fake name, dude. <laughs> By the way, that's what every single word sounded like while I was on it. Sanskrit? Sound, just Sanskrit. Did it really? Just Balaji, Bert, Sarvang, Nasiri, And I was just like. Dude, you're speaking in tongues. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's, it. that's all I said, dude. I Bidened out. I was Joe Biden. What? I was Joe Biden for five hours. Oh. I was just going. What, dude? First of all, so, someone hit, someone accused me of Bidening at one point. I was like all stoned, and I was like, and I fucked my words up. And they're like, "Oh, dude, you're <laughs> fucking, you're a Biden brain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're a fucking Billy. Biden brain." I just like, <sighs> yeah, I did experience that. Was yeah, that was like while I was in that, I was like, "This is what being old and senile is going to be like," which is terrifying. True, and it makes sense why they kill themselves a lot. Do they kill themselves a lot? Yeah, do teasers. They? Yeah, if you start losing your mind, you kill yourself. Because it was like, I couldn't really see, I couldn't understand the sentence. People yeah. would say something, I'd get like one word out of it. I'd be like, stop talking about teeth. Yep. They're like, what? I'm like, did I say that out loud? And they're like, you didn't say anything out loud. I'm oh, like, man. Where are we? I kept doing that. I'd be like, where the fuck are we? Damn, I was like dude. looking around the woods. And it was in the woods. I couldn't see anything. I was like, are we up high? I, kept, I thought we were like in a tree house. You kind of were on a hill, though. That was fucking me up. We were on a hill. Yeah, yeah you're exactly yeah, right. You're, we were up high. You were right. Yeah, you knew. All right, nice. Up high. That worked. <laughs> yeah. Your what's that called? Your like pro your, your depth perception was still on point. So, yeah, it was. It was the the meter was spinning though. I was like, are we high? Where are we? <laughs> but yeah, occasionally I'd be like staring at someone in the face. Yeah. Because I because their face would be changing. Sure. So I'd just be sitting there looking in their face like. <laughs> and someone would be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> just occasionally out of nowhere I'd be like did I say that oh man like, no dude you're alright you're alright damn dude it was, yeah that was the first time I did mushrooms I was on AOL instant messenger nice so I was sitting there just being like talking to a girl be like can you believe that our thoughts are just coming up on this and the lady was I was like <laughs> It's crazier. I my fingers are just typing, but I was like, "Can you believe our thoughts are just coming up on the screen?" And yeah. she was just like, "What?" It's like some girl I knew, and I was be like, "Just a way mess." This is crazy. G two G. Yeah, it was just G two G. G two G. G two G. Dude, I drove one time. I wasn't I wasn't on as much as you. I took an eighth, and I remember there was a guy 
you know you 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 know this now when you some people start to take on a sinister quality. Oh yeah. You see their face and there's this guy and it was like Bro? he kept putting oh, on like I'll the worst music and I was like, dude, this fucking guy sucks. And I remember just being like, yo, I'm out of here. In my head, I was like, I and I told this guy ten minutes beforehand, I was like, yo, man, I gotta be honest, I don't like you at all. That's right. That's just right. Just came out yeah. of it, I was like, I just don't fucking like you, man. And he was like, damn. And I'm like, I, I just, I gotta be honest with you, I just don't like being around you. So this I drove. Was, these were the terrifying. hoss. These were the hoss faces. Oh, that's what I was dude. staring into the whole time. Ah, uh, absolute that. Oh man. You know, for those of you at home, I'm looking at a Goya painting, oh, and uh, it's terrifying. yeah, Spug came down with a or. Hoss came down with a blanket wrapped around. Yeah. Literally looked exactly like the the witches in Goya, <laughs> Goya paintings. And his face was right here, so I was like, "Oh, oh man, sorry, sorry, I'm going on about this." But. No, it's fucking crazy. All right, top. A lot of people, I think, like ninety percent of people rated it as the top five most meaningful experience of their life. So it's up there. Yeah, that was up there. It's crazy for certain, dude. The the shit I was listening to with uh, whatever the guy's name is on Tim Ferriss podcast, the Balage, I think. Let me just see this again. It's gonna drive me nuts. He yeah, said it a bunch it. of times. <laughs> I thought he was. What is it? Balaji. Yeah, it was Balaji. It's episode five hundred six. Okay, I'll find it that way. But the um, he started talking about like I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I don't understand blockchain stuff a lot. But he's talking about that a lot, and he was I have more. No clue what that is. It's just like it's using. I'm probably butchering this, but you're using the AI algorithm to just be totally neutral and take like an accurate in real time historical record. That people can then use rather than have that being constantly manipulated. So they talk to a. Uh, so it's start, not fake news. It's not fake news, and it can't be fake news. That's Damn. the thing. Like it can't. I mean, I, maybe you know, obviously, some someone could figure out how to fuck with it. But apparently, the way it's set up is that it cannot be fake news, and you can't fuck with it. So he starts talking about uh, like media bias and how it's just set up as the most unfair, crazy thing where it's like someone like the distribution is totally unfair. Where a person in like a you know a large. So these guys are considered right wing. Immediately now they're considered. Yeah, they right have, I can tell you right away that that sounds. But like they're not. Get but the guy, right yeah. the guy's being. Yeah, he will absolutely will be. And this, so yeah. what they start talking about is how to safeguard yourself against all of this bullshit. And the first thing he's like, you need to get financial independence, but you also need to get ideological independence, where you can like have your own ideas. Because if you're not, you know, financially independent, you're kind of not allowed to think for yourself because any way you think can then threaten your income, dude. The uh, they, he starts talking about a book, and this is what blew my mind. So you know those little things where they say like the uh, the spectrum of ally dumb and it'll be like it'll be like a five part thing it'll be like white supremacist yes white supremacist sympathetic neutral me. ally mega ally me. yeah exactly yeah, yeah, it's me I'm mega ally me I'm a mega ally so that's not like a more like a mega ally <laughs> 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 so he was saying he's like that's not by like that's not some organic thing that people have come up with that's an actual kind of like a not a thought control, but it's a PR tactic. So it's like, it, it's a way to influence people's thinking because they know, you know, because they, they're like, all right, we'll put you on this continuum. They can't get someone from all the way on this side to all the way to this side. So what they do is, this is from the book, I think it's called uh, Beautiful Trouble, which is a handbook to activism. So you would you would go like, good, all right. So, good Trouble. Good, is it called Good Trouble? That's what the one guy, the black dude in Georgia who passed away, is it good used trouble? to call it. Is that so? They, right? Wasn't think, that what I, he said? Who's the guy? I, who no, died? that was a guy. That was a. Uh, what was his name? John Lewis. Yeah. Yeah, it was Good Trouble. But there's a book. I think the book's called. Pardon me. I think the book's called Beautiful Trouble. I something. beg your pardon. Oh, it's totally I fine. I beg for your pardon. Get this in flowing, dude. Another one. Did they just dissolve? No. You spit them out. You, I take them out and put them in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> You can see it during the podcast. I'll go. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I try to make sure you're not looking. Oh, that's so fucking funny, yeah. dude. So he was saying, "There's they have this. It's a, this is a tool. This whole idea, and they they're sending these things home with kid, with people to be like, you know, in like grade schools, being like, you, we talked about this last week. Like, show us where you think you fall on yeah, the yeah, white yeah, supremacy yeah. scale. Like which is one. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have a Nazi attending your that preschool. That would be very funny to fucking oh, dude. circle up. Like, Here you go. I'm just like, you guys asked. Someone opening it like, whoa, fuck. <laughs> I knew we had Nazis at this preschool. <laughs> so the, the whole point of that whole scale is that, you know, you, you get the people thinking like that's how simple the idea is. And you say, you're one of these. You're, like, yeah. You have to participate in this thing. And what they're saying is they'll take the weight to, and this is something that's like been laid out as like a thing that works to kind of move people along like a, a thought spectrum. 
wait till something horrible happens. And then you start saying like that whole shit of like, if you're not speaking up, you're like silence is violence kind of thing. Yeah. So you, you, you say you have to do it. Everyone's social pressure. You start to get peered into like peer pressured into doing this stuff. And then what it does is like, you see people in your social network start speaking up because they feel the social pressure. All of this man is manufactured. And then you see someone move from like, you know, the third one over to there and you slowly try to move people up. And if people dissent, then you disrupt their, social networks by hit pieces from the news who you can't compete with because they can write whatever they want. Even if it's totally factually yeah. incorrect, there's nothing you can do to them because their distribution's so large. And that, you know, they were talking about that shit. And it was like, dude, at school they were constantly hitting us with these fucking continuums and this and that. I'm like, this is crazy. It's a it's just to they try love to love fucking spectrums. They love them. Dude. They love spectrums. Love spectrums, bro. But this this was like, you know those things you take where it's like like the test where it's like, I strongly agree, mildly agree, neutral, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. The idea is you slowly condition people to move along via like social pressure from their network. And he was saying, if you want to be immune to it, you have to chill. You basically have to get yourself financially independent. You have to get yourself ideologically independent. And then you have to start worrying about what he's like, dude, the news, the way people move along these spectrums is, and they've studied this, is dedicated by the, the news spectrum, the news uh, outlets they like fully believe in. And he was like, it's like, if you have someone who's like adamantly into any one news source, you got to be careful because they are like Manchurian candidates. And as soon as they print shit, they're going to like, he's like, they get glowing red eyes and they're like, ah, ah, and he's like, you got to be, you got to safeguard yourself against that shit. Mm. Just pumping me up, dude. Nice. I was, I was fucking stoked on it. You should be pumped on that. Yeah, dude. I mean, dude, I'm weighing right now into starting like little cells, not in like a terrorist way, but like. <laughs> oh, no. No, like cool start cells. cells. Cool cells. Cool cells. I don't think there are cool cells. Yeah, there are. I've literally for, for only sure. heard of terrorist cells. No, dude. Timothy Leary, Timothy Leary was doing this and they put him in jail. Yeah. because They fucking told him. Because no, if you start cells, people put you in jail. Why? He's He was conservative, dude. <laughs> he was just trying to work the land with his family, dude, and they put him in jail. Yeah. For pot. I hate when you try to work the land. I, it's bullshit. They love the land. It's bullshit, dude. Yeah, man. I'm getting back to land, dude. I'm forming psycho. I'm forming psychedelic you can't sales. Grow a single thing, dude. What? You've never grown a thing in your life. It is true that I failed at growing <laughs> weed twice. One time it came through. It was just kind of like sparse and airy. Yeah, dude. Because they, they kept me from the fucking land, dude. <laughs> true. I'm sorry. On, I'm man. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do. I have the. I like. It's within my like <laughs> can't picture wait myself you to, try to, to work have a the green land. throne. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm, I'm all like with house plants. They fucking die. Yeah, house plants are. Impossible. I'm good at working cacti though, which you know, obviously pretty easy. But <laughs> yeah. my aloe plant, whew, boy, come on, man, I'm thriving. <laughs> my maranta died. R.I.P. Oh man, but dude, I hate yeah. to see a maranta go. It was tough. It was fickle. It was a fickle plant. It's a fickle plant. My ZZ plant, ooh, I'm thriving. Nice. It's another one. All right. Well, you, I'm, you I'm sorry. Not I'm no, sorry. no. You I, don't that's, have to that's, prove. A, that's a that's a fucking hot point of mine. I can you tell. know how many plants died I can on tell me? You're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, it's coming. It's coming. They're gonna decentralize the media. They're gonna lose their social control. It's coming, dude. People just have to hold out and stop being like everything. It's like it's about to get so fucking sweet. You yeah. just can't be a bitch. You can't fall for all the bullshit, dude. That's it. Heard that. Everything's falling the per- Shut up. Yeah, man. everything actually is pretty sick. It rules. Shit's shit's gay. No doubt. For no sure. No diggity, no For doubt. Sure. There's but it's a gay. facade, dude. It's a facade. It's a facade. Dude. Shit's actually straight as fuck. Look, I've seen the other side. Dude. You've seen it, dude. I've seen death. You saw God. I saw God, dude. Shit rules. God rules. People need to Colors get Colors swirling that. around. Just your dad sitting there. Awesome. Your dad who you love. I love you, dad. Yeah, dude. I love you so much. Love dad, you, I fucking love you, dude. Love you, mom. I can't wait to die with love you. Love you, mom. <laughs> Thank you, God. Mom, you weren't up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They fucking hate when we love the family and we yeah. love God, dude. They hate it. I hate it, dude. Yeah, God was up there chilling. For sure. Yeah. Who do you think produced the whole thing? Dude, did you... Fuck, man. We, we, what, where are we at? We should slide in the Patreon, dude. Hold on. Before we do, I do Please. want to talk about you on stage last night. So we oh, did our show. fuck. We did our helium show last night. I'm not sure when the next one is. Forgot about but that. But when it's up, you guys should make an effort to come to it. They've it's been every fun. single one. I don't use I'm not a type of person to be like, it was amazing, epic. Dude, every single one of those I've been to so far has been, I would say, pretty epic, yeah. dude. Every time, it's a fucking movie. It's a fucking movie. It's a motherfucking bro. movie. Oh, God damn. It's but, just uh, that vibe, dude. But yeah, <laughs> Bobby and Voss, Voss, Voss's Voss. intro, not going to discuss it. No, I can't. <laughs> Dynamite. <laughs> But he world. was first first joke he, he made. He was fired was up, like, dude. He was fired. He was getting fired up in the green room. Yeah, he Everyone was. was. You know, people were talking, dude, Patreons and stuff. Bobby and, he, and Voss in a green room is it's a treat. It is the funniest thing in it's the world. A treat. It's two old dudes, nonstop shit talking. It doesn't it constantly. Doesn't stop. And every they critique every one of their own jokes. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> it's nonstop. But it was funny sitting them pick, seeing them pick at each other. Yeah, it's very funny. I didn't think I could do stand up. I was like, after the trip, dude. True. That was one of the things. I was like, did I lose everything? 
got out there. It was great. Murder. I, I used my crutch, my, my my strongest crutch, dude. I brought Matt out with me. We smashed up. We had fun together. We dude, had I mean, a mash up. Come on, man. It was great. Uh, while we were up there. I mean, dude, are we not a comedy machine? Last night, be. I walked home last night. And I'm like, well, oh, we're basically a push button comedy machine. <laughs> <laughs> we went out there and just, what did we do? 20 minutes? Easy. Easy. We did two 10 half minute hour, sets. Probably. Yeah, we did it half Probably hour. two 15 minutes. But it was, that was I so knew, fun. I was just tossing oops. I knew some of your jokes. I was, you were throwing some no looks. But uh, I tried to toss a noob, and Matt misinterpreted it. Yeah. <laughs> and instead, it came down with a – you slammed You broke the net, dude. I broke the, broke backboard. the backboard, <laughs> broke dude. broke the backboard. I threw him a noob because one of his business ideas – we were talking business. Yeah. One of his one of his old jokes was he was going to start uh, Uber for girls that want to get their pussy eaten, and it's just him. He yeah. just receives a notification, <laughs> and he drives to your house and eats your pussy, which is very funny. So I was up there. I was like, you got some business ideas? He's like, I do. I was like, dude, tell him that one business idea you told me. And he just <laughs> looks at this audience. It was a sold-out crowd. And he was like, oh, porn by children for children? <laughs> it was just like, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> Whole just place. absolutely gaped Bedlam. the audience, dude. Bedlam. Dude, it was. It you was and me fucking... both started crying immediately. Yeah, it was, dude. <laughs> That was so fun, man. Yeah, it was And then just going off on that for like five dude, minutes of the, child, the names, dude. This is not, this is an inappropriate joke. Yeah. This it, is gross stuff. I mean, when you're live, When you're live, fine. it's chill. Yeah, but when you're live, we, yeah, it's fine. We were just talking about like, if, you know how porn stars have like porn star names? Yeah. Like, do you think child, <laughs> do you think they get porn names? <laughs> and Matt was like, yeah, 12 year old black kid named Recess. <laughs> You had to be there. Dude. You had to be there. I know on. Movie, I know on this dude. stuff. Yeah, I know on here. It sounds like we're we're. This is junk, but it oh, was. Man. And that's not something we like to joke about. Not at all. That not type funny. of stuff isn't funny. Not but funny. pedophilia, a febophilia is not a joke. You know what a febophilia? No. People who are into women aged fifteen and nineteen, fifteen and eighteen, I believe it is a febophilia. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, I was also joking, like thinking to myself, like if I woke up right now back at that fire, oh. just like, oh, <laughs> like, oh no, I'm still here. Oh, like this was a hallucination. Yeah, fuck, dude. Yeah, it was. You've been hallucinating since you smoked K two, and then thought for you years. Died. Yeah, this is your second ego death. By this the way. is well, like, yeah. No, that one I thought I was dying. So you, like, okay. I was. Conscious. Oh, you were there, being like, yes. I'm dying. Oh, I think I'm having a heart no attack. Fun. That's a panic attack. Yeah, yeah, no yeah that's all that was. Fine line between an ego death and a panic attack. That was a de- totally different yeah. death. That was a real death. That was you were dying. That was a well. Was the a one I, I thought death. I was dying, and I was like, I can't go to the hospital for weed because that's gay. Even though K two definitely you could have gone to the Fucked hospital. You up, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, the mushroom one. I thought it was. There was no moment where I was like, oh, this is just mushrooms. I'm hallucinating. Yeah, you lose. It was one hundred percent. You have yeah. it for a while, and then it just gets away from you. Dude. Yeah, it's fucking. When I had it, it ruled. While I was like hallucinating, and I was like, I, every five minutes, I'm like, whoa. Yeah. I think everyone was annoyed with me. <laughs> People were chilling. I was trying so hard to keep it together. Everyone I was, was working so hard not to spaz. I mean, dude. Because I could have. I could have easily been like. Ah. You do, you do yeah. have a very solid one guy did mental do that. foundation. One guy did do that. Really? No names. But one guy went in his room, got in his underwear, and was hollering. Very funny. <laughs> yes. Someone who. It, it's always very funny to me to watch people who are like, ah, this doesn't affect me. Just be, And then come out and tell you why they're not like. I'm totally, they're trying to explain why they're not tripping while they're obviously yeah. tripping. And it, dude, it's so funny to watch. Like, yeah, I'm, and I know this move too. I've done this yeah. myself where I go like, yeah, I'm going to bed and I'm like, just out of my <laughs> fucking mind. It's like, I did that one time at like eight 30 on a Saturday night. Like, I'm going to hit the sack guys. Uh, and it's yeah. fucking laying in bed. Like, Oh, <laughs> that was the one time I fully came to grips with the fact that I was an animal. And I was like, Whoa, fuck, dude, I'm a fucking animal. Dude. I'm no different than a bird on a branch. Oh, <laughs> We're just watching TV, and I was just like, all of a sudden, just staring at the TV. <laughs> I was staring at the TV. All right, I'm just gonna head to bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm bush, guys. Uh, catch you tomorrow. They're like, what? Yeah, the one guy. I was left. like 21, just being like, yeah, I'm gonna turn it in. <laughs> one guy was sitting at the fire, and he was like, this shit's not working. I'm going to bed. A half hour later, he came back down with like a blanket around him. He's like, this shit works. He's <laughs> like, it works. It works. <laughs> Man, that's the best. Yeah, there's so many people trying to like. Pfft, not yeah. me. It's no McCusker, way. It's McCusker curse. It's so funny. The McCusker curse. Yeah, that shit. Shit does get brutal after a while. Of like ten dudes being like, I would never do. Well, you gay? So I'm not fucking, fucking gay. Yeah, dude. Oh, I gotta work tomorrow. Can't just fuck around all day. It was like, dude, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen what you've been doing this whole weekend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man. All right. Let's uh, let's switch it over. 
yeah, that, that show oh. last night. That is like yeah, come to that helium show. So if you fucking. Get a I mean, dude, people will regardless, but that shit is so fucking funny. Not to sound um, like a dick. Everyone I've been to has just been packed. This, but do yourself a favor, man. This Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the fifteenth, sixteenth, and seventeenth of April, I'll be at Helium Comedy Club in Buffalo. The next week, we're shooting more sketches. Then the 29th, 30th, and first of May, I'll be at the Harrisburg Comedy Zone. I'm TBD. Yeah, Matt I'm might be. I'm seeing how I'm going to be coming out of exact. Now you understand, dude. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be coming out. You're going to want to do it. I think so. When yeah. I was in it, I was like, I love stand up so yeah, much. I can't yeah. wait to do stand up. I had fun last night yeah. too. Sixth, seventh, and eighth of May, I'll be at Side Splitters in Tampa, and the ninth. So that's Thursday through Sunday in Tampa. Please come to that. I think it's like fucking nine shows. It's so many pa- fucking shows. Hopefully. I don't know. They spread. There's so shows? many shows. I think on Saturday there's three. It's Florida, dude. I think on Friday and Saturday there might be three shows, which that that's tough. Jesus Christ. Uh, 13th, 14th, and 15th, Mall of America. The dreaded Mall of America. Oh, you're going back. Back, dude. Is that where the petting zoo was? Uh, No, there's an aquarium there. Okay. It's pretty yeah. sick. But the Mall of America was a tough one last time. Yeah. So if you want to, to if you want to see me go to battle, go to the <laughs> Mall of America the 13th, 14th, and 15th of May, and that's all for now. Hell yeah! But yeah, please subscribe to Gillian Keeves on YouTube. Hell that yeah. helps us out. Fuck yeah! Yeah, do that. Thank you for watching, and do I that. apologize. I apologize to everybody. I'm sorry I was gay, dude. You might have been too alpha, dude. To play to play little kitty games. I'm just saying to be up that <laughs> night. You were strategizing for battle, dude. You want to commune with the Viking gods on the D- dude. Just Beavis and Butthead-ing out on DFT. Yeah. So if just fucking then fucking wear it off. There was no, there was no like taking DMT as like a. Oh, this is a journey. It was just like let's get fucking ripped, dude. Oh, yeah. There was there was zero chance. Fuck that rules. Thank you for watching. Yeah, man.